So this is the Wolf Launcher running on my NVIDIA Shield Pro. Now this is a full custom launcher. We can see here I've got a dedicated section for my streaming applications. We have another one for generic applications. We have one for my games and some for utils. Now this is a full custom launcher, which means we can customize everything as we like it. We can create as many sections as we like. We can hide applications. We can change the background. We don't have any of the Google sponsored content or any of the promoted applications. We just have complete control of our device. So in this video today, let me show you how you can also get a fully working custom launcher on your Nvidia Shield or your Fire TV Cube. And you can do all of that without doing any kind of manual typing, manual ADB or anything like that. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to start this process, the first thing we need to do is enable developer options so we can then enable ADB on our device. Now to enable the developer options, if you go into device preferences and then about, let's scroll down and where it says build number, you need to click on this seven times. So one, two, three, four, five. We can see we get the message that we are two steps away from a developer. Let's keep clicking. Okay, so we're now developers and this will now enable the developer options on your device. So if we press the back button once and we can see we now have this new menu called developer options. Let's click on that. Now, just a quick word of warning here that if you don't know what you're doing, I highly recommend you don't change anything in the developer options because changing the wrong thing or switching something off could potentially have some serious consequences on your device. Let's scroll down and anything we're looking for is where it says network debugging. Let's turn that on. That's all we need to do. Once you've enabled that option, let's press the home key and let's now open up Downloader because we're going to make a connection to my website so we can download just three things that we need. Let's open up Downloader and let's navigate to my website by typing in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash bit.ly forward slash tduk. That's me and the number is 2019. Let's type that in and click on go. Now, when you get to my website, you want to navigate over to the tutorials page. And the way we do that is if you click on the hamburger menu, scroll down and let's click on tutorials. And here you'll see at the top of the tutorial list, a dedicated tutorial on how you can change the default launcher on the Nvidia Shield and also the second generation Fire TV Cube. Now, if you have a different device like a 4K Fire Stick or an older second generation Fire TV, there are very specific tutorials for that, but this one is focused on the Nvidia Shield and the second generation Fire TV Cube. So let's scroll down and open that up. And here is the new tutorial. And if for whatever reason you cannot see the latest tutorial, just go to the top, click on the hamburger menu and just select the option, disable JavaScript and reload page and once you've done that, that will then force the page to refresh or reload. We can then press the same button again and just make sure that we do leave JavaScript enabled. Okay, so once you can see the latest tutorial, let's scroll down. And these are the three things we want to download. So we have the TDUK Fire TV Cube Helper. So this is the helper application that will give your device the correct permissions for you to change the stock launcher. Let's click on that first. Let's scroll down and let's click on the green download button. Give that a second and let's click on install. So that's the first application we've installed today. Let's click on done. Let's press the back button. Let's now get the FTV LaunchX application. So this is actually the application which will allow you to select a custom launcher. But for this application to have the correct permissions is why we need to have the hopper application. And this application was made by Eric, so all credit is due to him for this fantastic application. Let's click on that now. Let's scroll down and click on the green download button. And let's click on install. So that's two things we've installed so far. Uh, we can see as soon as you install it, this actually tries to launch and gives you this warning saying that this application does not have the correct permission. Now this is to be expected because we've not run the helper application just yet. So for now I can click on OK and press the back button. We can see we have the warning there. Let's press the back button. Let's click on done. Let's click on done again. Let's go back. And lastly, we're now going to install the custom launcher. Now in this demonstration, I'm going to install the Wolf launcher and there is a specific launcher for Wolf for Shield. There's a separate Wolf launcher if you're going to do this on a Fire TV Cube or another Amazon device. And we also have the Leanback launcher, but in this demonstration, I'm going to install the Wolf launcher for the Shield. 
Let's click on that, scroll down, and click on the green download button. So that's three things we've installed so far. Let's click on install. Now, once you've done that, let's back out of this. Now, the great thing about Wolf Launcher is, is that you can have any kind of custom background that you like. And I have uploaded three wallpapers here. So if you want one of these, you can just click on them. Uh, let's go for wallpaper B. So we have a nice retro image there. So if I want to use this one, I can just download that. And click on the green download button. Okay, if you see any kind of adverts, just press the back button once. And I should then start the download. And let's click on done. So final confirmation, we've downloaded the helper application, which gives correct permissions to the launch application. The launch application allows us to select a custom launcher and we've downloaded the Wolf custom launcher. So three things downloaded. Oh, and we did also download a custom wallpaper. Okay, once you've done all of that, let's press the home key. And we now need to start the helper application because that's going to give the FTB launch X the correct permissions that it needs. Now you won't see the helper application in your application list. So the way you can get to it is you can use an application called Sideload Launcher, which is available on the standard Google Play Store. So let's open that up. And this will show you all of the applications installed on your device. And here we can just see this one here is the helper application. Now, before I start the helper application, let me just say that this is a one-time use application, which means once we open it, it gives the correct permission. And after that, it should uninstall itself. If it doesn't uninstall itself, we can just reboot the device and it should remove that automatically. But let's open that up and let's see what happens. So let's click on that. We get this prompt here, very important. So click on OK. And within one second, we now get the launch application started. And we can see now there's no more errors, guys. So very, very easy to use. Definitely do give a thumbs up for that. And that's pretty much it, guys. All we need to do now is just select a custom launcher. Let's click on that. And here, for example, I could select lean back because I have already installed that before. But in this demonstration, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find the wolf launcher, which is actually a modification of the ATV launcher with some great bug fixes and tweaks. Let's click on that. Let's now press the home key. And is that going to work first time? And there we are guys, we are now inside the Wolf Launcher. Now, unfortunately, when you start this for the very first time, it's not gonna look anything like this. So let me just reset that back to defaults, just so I can show you some of the configuration options so you can get it looking a bit more like mine. So let me do that now, let's open that again. So this is now the Wolf Launcher starting for the first time. We can see we have the shield logo over here. We have a very nice status bar. And yes, it is midnight now. And here we can see are uh, the default applications. So out of the box, you get to see all of your applications, but let's now customize it. So the very first thing I like to do on this is configure a background wallpaper. Now, the way you access the menu or the settings in the Wolf Launcher is either you can press and hold any of the tiles. So press and hold. And we can see we now have the launcher settings and the Android settings. Alternatively, you can press and hold up the top here, press and hold here, and we get the menu option. So let's go down into launcher settings. Let's now configure that wallpaper. Let's select the wallpaper. Let's enable this option first. Okay, that's now done. And we can now click on select wallpaper. Let's give the application permissions to our storage. Let's click on allow. Let's click on internal storage. And let's now find the downloader folder because anything you download through downloader will appear in this folder here. And here we can see some of the other pictures that are downloaded before. Uh, let's go for, oh, that's a nice one. Okay, let's go for this one over here. Let's give that a second. That should then refresh and configure that as the desktop wallpaper. And there we have it. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now, in case you're wondering what this large space at the top is for, I mean, firstly, I think it looks actually quite nice just having that bit of space at the top, but it's actually for widgets. Now, by default, you can't enable widgets on the NVIDIA Shield unless you type in a special ADB command. I have actually covered that in the previous video. So if you guys are interested in that, then do have a look at the pinned comment. Okay, so let's now customize the size of these tiles. So again, let's go to Let's press and hold here. Go to launcher settings, go to sections. Let's go to applications. And here we can customize firstly, do you want to see the title applications? And let's leave that on. We can change the title. And here we can now adjust the column width. So by default, it's showing us five columns. So if I increase that, we can see that then reduces the size of the tiles. So I like to leave mine at about seven. Let's press the back button to apply that. And here we can see guys, we get to see a lot more content on the screen at the same time. Let's say we want to create a custom section. So we've got applications over here. If you want to create another section, let's go back to the launcher settings. Let's go to sections, manage sections. And here we can see by default, we have the widget section, which is a primary section. We have the application section, but we also have the option to add a new section. So let's click on add section. 
let's just call that streaming for my streaming applications. Let's click on next, click on finished. And we now have a new section. Let's press the back button. And here we can see we have a brand new section for streaming applications. Now, if you want to move something into this section, let's say for example, we want to put a uh, YouTube in there, press and hold this. We have the option to move to section and let's now select streaming. And there it is guys. So let's just add a couple more, move to section, streaming. And there we have it guys. So very easy to customize, very easy to create custom sections. You can move applications around and really get your home screen looking exactly how you like it. Now you can also hide applications that you don't want to see on your home screen. So once again, let's go to the launcher settings. Let's go to hidden applications. And this will then show you a big list of all the applications on your device and all of them are enabled by default. But anything that you click on, so if I click on this, we can see that then gets removed from your home screen. So these are now automatically being hidden. Okay, let's press the back button. Now as we can see now that looks a little bit neater. We can fully customize this. You can hide whichever applications you want. We can create those custom sections. We can tweak that background and really guys, the options are endless. Now, another thing you can do on this is you can also create custom folders. So let's say for example, I want a custom folder for my utilities. So let's go to Icebox. Let's press and hold on that. Let's click on create folder. Let's click on next. And we can also password protect these folders. So if you do have certain applications, maybe certain games that maybe you don't want your kids to see, you can actually lock these out with a password. So let's test that now. Let's click on that. Let's enter the password. Let's just do uh, one, two, three, four, five. Click on next. Let's enter that again. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Click on next and click on apply. Let's try and open that up. And there we are guys, we can see we have no access to that folder unless we type in the password. So let's just try the wrong password first, just to make sure. Let's click on enter, wrong password. So that really is a great feature of the Wolf Launcher. And let's just hope that the right password works. So that was one, two, three, four, five. Click on next. And there is the contents of that password protected folder. So really great feature of the Wolf Launcher. Let's back out of that. Let me just show you what the border radius does. So for example, on Firefox, press and hold. Go to configure. Okay, so the border radius by default is set to eight. But as I go to the right, look what happens. You can see it gets rounded and more rounded. If you keep going, it becomes more of a, like a pill shape. So depending on how you like your tiles, you can actually customize each and every one of them to give you the exact style that you like. So tons of customizations, so many things you can do, and that's all working absolutely fine. And if you get bored, let's say for example, I want to change the background, go to launcher settings, Go to wallpaper, go to select wallpaper. Let's just go for something completely different. Uh, let's just go for an outdoor scene. And there we have it. So a great way you can just refresh your home screen, refresh your background, and just get your launcher looking exactly how you like it. Okay, last two things left. How do we change the launcher to something else? And how do we go back to the stock launcher? Well, changing the launcher is very easy. You can install another launcher from our website. Once you've installed it, open up Launch X. Here we can see that we're using the Wolf Launcher. If I click on that, we can just choose a different launcher. So let's go for Lean Back, press the Home key, and within one click, we now have a completely different launcher on our device. That's working great. Okay, so before we go to the stock launcher, let's just double check to see, did the helper application uninstall itself? And here we can just confirm that the helper application did uninstall itself correctly. But if for whatever reason you still see it here, all you need to do is just reboot your device and that will then remove the helper application properly. Okay, so the last thing I want to do now is how do you go back to the stock launcher permanently? Just find LaunchX in the application list. Here it is. Press and hold on that. And we just want to uninstall this now. So let's click on this. Click on uninstall. Do you want to uninstall this? Let's click on OK. OK, we still see this, but when I press the home key, we are now back to the stock default NVIDIA home screen launcher. So. That's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. So many of you are asking for the easiest way how we can get a custom launcher on our NVIDIA Shield or your Fire TV Cube without typing in any commands manually. So if you did find this video useful, then please do give a thumbs up. If you want to see more tutorials for the NVIDIA Shield or the second generation Fire TV or the latest 4K Fire Sticks and more, then please do like this video and also think about subscribing. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.